Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to enter transactions directly in your register. Okay, so I do a lot of videos on entering bills and paying bills, entering, you know, putting invoices uh, and then receiving payments against those invoices. But sometimes you have transactions that you can enter directly in your register. So in this video, I'm going to walk through, okay, what is a register? And then, you know, why would you put something directly in it instead of doing you know, a bill and a pay bill or an invoice, etc., cetera, uh, and then walk you through how to do it, okay? Now, the first thing to understand in QuickBooks is uh, they have a, what's called a register for every single account, all right? And a register is just kind of like a, a running total. If, if you used a checkbook, you know, like a personal checkbook back when people hand wrote checks, and some people still do, but hand wrote checks, and you had to put in you know, you would write in, okay, what was the date? What was the check number? What, who did I pay? And how much was the check? And you had a running total of what your balance was. That was a paper check register, okay? And a check register in QuickBooks is the exact same thing. It's just within the software, all right? And the difference is there is a register for every single account you have in QuickBooks, all right? Now, you'll see on the homepage here, there's a check register, this right here. Okay, but, and, and if I go say use register, I click that, I say use register, it's going to ask me uh, which bank account register do I want to use. So let me look at an example here. If I say just the checking in the sample file, you'll see that there's all these transactions. So in QuickBooks, if I go up to, let's say, banking write checks, and I put in a check, and I write, and you know, pay to the order up, and I, you know, put in the account, I put in the amount, et cetera, and then save and close. It's going to record that directly in the register. All right. So just like in the old days with a personal checkbook, you write the check, it's going to put it into your check register. So it can keep this running balance of how much you have in the checking account. Okay. But that's not all. Okay. So you can also do this. If I go to company and I go to my chart of accounts, <clears throat> you can pull up a check register or a register for any one of these accounts. All right. So if we look at this and we say, let's look at the credit card register, I double click that and it's going to take me to the register. All right. So anytime you want to go to the register for any account and, you know, if you you would do this so you can see what's going on in the account. What's made it go up, what's made it go down. Uh, you can do this for any account. So if I go to, let's say, uh, dues and subscriptions, okay, this is an account quick report, and there's nothing in there, okay? So if I go up to the balance sheet account of prepaid insurance, let me go to there, you can see all of the different transactions in the register, okay? All right, so now you would use the register for situations uh, when you don't need to necessarily enter a bill uh, or an invoice. So let's say it's just a deposit you're making to the bank. You can go to banking, make deposits in QuickBooks, or you can go directly to the register and put it there. Uh, if you have a debit card transaction out of the checking account, you're not going to enter a bill, uh, and you can just enter it directly in the register. Same thing with the credit card charge, okay? So if we went to the credit card uh, register, you can either go up here and say banking uh, and our credit card charges, which is kind of a common way. It makes it a little bit easier to do it this way. Or we can go directly to the register for the credit card and enter it there. So let's walk through just a couple examples here. Okay, so let's say we went, uh, you know, and we got gas and we used a debit card and we want to enter that in our check register here. Uh, you would go and you would say, OK, the date uh, right here, you're going to enter the date. So let's say it's 12, 15. This sample file is dated 2023. So we'll say 2023. And for debit card transactions, I always like to put in something that says like debit, um, or it could be EFT, you might put in, you know, ACH, uh, if it's an ACH. So for debit card transactions, I like to put debit, okay? Payee, let's say this is going to be Exxon. 
now. This is not a vendor that is set up, so I'm going to say quick add to vendor, and I'm going to put in 23.58, okay? Now you can see here, you've got the expense here and a deposit over here. Now I have to specify the account. I'm going to see if there's fuel, automobile fuel. There it is right there. And if you want to put in a memo, you can. Okay, then I just hit record. And let's see, let me look up my register here and see where that is. There it is right there. Okay, 2358. Now, if I want to double click on this, let's see if I can, I'll right click and let's say edit check. It's going to take me to the check screen. Okay, like I said before, if you enter it as a check, it's going to put it in the register. And if you put it in the register, it's going to enter it as a check. All right. So you know, you can see uh, if I go back, let me open up my register just to show you. There's not a ton of detail on here. It's just basic information. It's the vendor name, uh, the check number or debit, uh, the account and the amount. And that's it. But if you need to enter more information, such as you want to, you know, put this as a billable expense to a customer, you want a class transaction, you're going to have to go to the check. Okay, so there are some limitations of putting things directly in the register. But this is a simple way to enter transactions quickly and not have to go to write checks uh, and go through all that. Just go directly to the register. Okay, same thing now. Let's say that uh, we made a deposit. Same day, 12-15-2023. We're going to say deposit. There's no payee, but I'm going to tab over to the deposit, and I'm going to say $150. And let's say that this was a, um, a rebate of some utility costs. Okay, so generally, I'm going to put that against the expense account to reduce the expense, and it's a deposit of $150. This was just like a check that came in or maybe a an automatic deposit to our checking account. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So you can see up here the $150 right here. And if I edit this, edit the deposit, it's going to take me to that deposit screen. So again, if I did it directly through the deposit screen, it's going to go to the register. And if I do it in the register, it's going to go directly to this deposit screen. Okay. Let me close this out. Let me show you one other example. Uh, if I go to um, the credit card register. So I'm going to go over to my chart of accounts and let me find the QuickBooks credit card. Okay, we're going to say this and I'm going to say that we had a charge. Uh, let's say, I'm going to say express delivery service and I charged 51.22.25 and we're going to say postage. Okay, and if you want to put in a memo, again, you can. And again, it's just directly in the register. There it goes. Okay, so if I look for this, uh, let's say I want to edit this. It's going to take me to the enter credit card screen. Okay, so again, this is just a different way to enter uh, transactions in QuickBooks. And sometimes it's a much quicker way if you're not using the bank feeds uh, to enter your transactions. All right, let me show you one other thing, and this is a way to look at your, your register. I'm going to go to the checking register, and you'll see here it's got the account, and it's got these uh, two lines per transaction. If you click this down here, you're going to see one line, and it just makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so it's got, you know, the basic information. Again, if I did 1215 and I said debit... And let's say I went to Exxon again, automobile fuel, 2513, hit record, and there it is, directly in the register, okay? So those are the basics of how to enter transactions directly in your register. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Be happy to answer those for you. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.